Wet Purified Drinking Water bringing us show business on the AM show. That's right after this next conversation, which is absolutely important. Many of us have challenges with our buildings, dampness. Sometimes the walls are simply peeling, and there are all sorts of reasons uh, that people put to it. My next guest is Mr. John Apafo. He's technical director of Pora Ventures, a dampproof solutions company. Uh, he joins me in the studio. He's got some materials to also show. Uh, good morning to you, sir. Good morning. Uh, tell us, explain what you do exactly. Right. And, um, we are a company called Pora Ventures, and we provide dampproofing solutions. We want the nation to use the right materials when they are building because it's the, it's the wish of everyone to build their dream homes but when you build and you don't use the right materials then you are prone to be having those challenges okay so that's why we are there for okay uh, so um this is just quickly what i'm going to do we're going to show and fred flow with me we're going to show a building where the wall is peeling uh, which has been affected by dampness we're going to put it in the video wall but explain the materials that you have Fantastic. on display okay so first of all, when people buy land they want to build, mm -hmm. um, when they do the foundation, then they start the mark before they raise the footings. What we advise from the start is if people can, they should get the right quality damp proof membrane, which is called the DPM. Okay. So uh, uh, something of this quality. Now, when you have this, you know, you use it to do like a base lining, mm. at least in the trench, or if you can't, just concentrate on only where the pillars are. There are more reasons, good reasons why you do that. One of the reasons is that we are talking about capillaries, whereby the moisture will be rising through. But if this is at the base, it kind of stops it at that substructure level. Okay. Then after the footing, there we will advise mm. that you have to use the damp proof memory over the whole surface. Not only just using it, but making sure that it is sealed properly mm. with our jointing tapes. Okay. The tapes that we have. Now, when you see this, you see how it's sealed. There'll be no penetration. So if you're doing a normal three-bedroom, yeah. yeah. a normal size yeah. house, right. how many of I'm these materials right. would you use? What you do, if you give it the total area, the length and the width, we just work out the area and then divide it by the size of the material it comes in the 100 square meter okay. standard so size. So this is what, after the foundation? Yeah, so after the footing is done, before they do the oversight concrete, the DPM has to go on top first. Okay. Once it goes on top, before the concrete sits on this. Now, these materials are of high quality, high grade, and is guaranteed to be underneath the concrete for the life of the build. Mm. So technically, what I mean is if your building is going to be there for 100 years, mm -hmm. this is going to stay there for 100 years. Okay. Yeah. So uh, w these other ones that right. you These other ones, they are the damp proof cores, the DPCs. And these DPCs, they go underneath the blocks. So for example, when you've done your filling, your concrete comes, and then you check the height. And then it's likely that after the filling, it's likely to go over the edge of the DPM level. Then what we advise is that run this mm. under the block. Okay. just to get that additional protection okay because once we understand that what is happening to we in terms of the capillaries happening through the uh, block work is that it's going through in between the blocks and these are the only ways that you can do to stop it okay right. so um you know viewers just so you can get a better understanding of this conversation this is it a lot of our buildings develop this kind of yeah. uh, problem it has this effect and sometimes we're told that termites Chew in the building. Sometimes they say right. it's the water in the <laughs> soil. The water in the soil. Uh, okay. And it simply doesn't stop. You can yeah. paint, paint, yeah. paint, paint, Fantastic. and you still have yeah. this. Okay. So this is the solution yeah. to stop this from developing. Fantastic. From okay. the start. So if you do it from the start, then you are guaranteed to stop. Mm. So let me explain what goes on. Um, I'll give a simple definition. I want everybody, all our technical people, to be able to get this concept sure. so that we use this to educate the nation. When we talk about rising damp, our definition is that anywhere at all you are building on the surface of this earth, whereby you are going to use cement, then you have to take preventative action mm. by using the right membranes. It's not only any material at all, the mm. right quality membranes. These are high grade materials, okay? If you don't use that, use the wrong material, you are mm. prone to have this. Okay, and we're showing some visuals Fantastic. as well. So, you so, know, this. The so with this, 
what we could have done. Yeah. So with this, what we could have done is that if the DPC is across just six inches above the ground level, then all this will stop because the moisture is what is seeping through the blocks okay. and nothing is stopping it. Okay, so we're talking, we've talked about how to prevent it. Yeah. But if, you've, if it's developed already, right. how do you help? Right. If it's developed already in your building, then the meaning is that it's not got any of this mm -hmm. in there. So what we're advising is that people can do what we call the retrofit by inserting the damp proof course into the building. Already, already completed built, structure. Already completed structure. And th that, that needs a little bit of engineering techniques to okay. do that. So what we're doing that we're working with some of the mason. We can come to your home, yourself, your trusted mason. Mm. We can be able to pass on the knowledge to them how to deal with that. Okay. A lot of people are doing it now, which is quite easy to do. But just that we have to make sure that it falls within the technical Fantastic. limits. Fantastic. Yes. We're going to let you um, leave your phone number. But there's yeah. some tests that you want to yeah. run real quick before right. we wrap up. Okay. So with this, we have a new we, can injection. Can we lift it up? Yeah. So this is a block. Yeah, which is coated with a new chemical injection. Okay. So this block, this is how the capillaries work. If I drop the water here, you see how it's seeping through. Now, if I drop another water here. Mm, it's just sitting on it. it. It's just sitting it's on, not on able it. To and penetrate. that's what our chemicals does. Okay. So those with the problems, they can get the chemical mm. and then inject it underneath the building on top of the concrete slab. Okay. And once it goes there, nothing will happen oh. and this is how it works and this is the way the water seeps through yeah so the moment the block have contact with the soil transmission take place and because nothing is stopping it the po the problems will always be fantastic. there fantastic if you're now building well we just finished our housing fair but the conversation still continues uh, so if you're just building fortunately for you there is a solution fantastic if it has also developed there's still a solution yeah. so please yeah. give us a phone number so people can reach right. you our phone number is um, 0208-215-631, 0208-215-631, or 0543-933-425. Okay. We have a third number, which is uh, at Tigo, 0263-707-166. So any of the numbers, just give us a call, and then we are always there to help. Great. All right. So that's uh, Pora Ventures with this solution. If you're building and this is and, and the point is that you actually don't know where the soil is not yes see, it's not perfect so you yes, have to do it anyway you have to do it because if you are going to use blocks which is made of cement but if you are going to build at Aquami, they don't have these problems so as engineer we need to go back and begin to understand what mm -hmm. is happening and that's why i'm giving the definition the baseline is that Anywhere at all you are building, don't let anybody deceive you that it's gravel, mm. it's sandy, there's no water. Irrespective, anywhere at all that you are building, make sure that it's done. If it's not done, then you are likely. The okay. chances are quite All right, high. costs? Costs. Costs. Right. Cost. If you project this to the entire building cost and you are doing it from the start, it's not expensive at okay. all. For example, a two-bedroom house can only cost you maybe about less than 2,000 cities to oh, do. Oh, okay. Right? All right? But the moment so the problem comes, that escalates to about 20,000 flowing. Ooh. Yes. All right. And that's so why we please, are insisting the Please day. give yeah. Mr. Papu a call uh, if this is your problem and you've now found the solution. He's technical director of Pora Ventures and Damp Proof Solutions Company. Thank you very Thank much you very for much. sharing the solution with us. Stay with Thank us. You. Becky's up next. Uh, and she's bringing us some show business. It's brought to us, Ketsi, Awake Purified Drinking Water.